Hey guys, if you're here how to figure out how to do a backyard rink, well I got Giselle here from the dogs family, and I got the Vivian family with me. <laughs> and follow this simple step process and we'll show you how. Simple? You have to figure out where and how big you want your rink. Things to consider when making this decision is that you want it as level as possible, and in our case we want Carly to have enough room to be able to run around the rink. So in, as in years past, we are going with 24 by 48 feet. We usually have about four to six feet of area that I can move it around in. So I'm walking around, making sure I don't have too much variance in height. And in my yard, it is about 10 inches from front to back difference. Step two, gotta set your corner stakes and square your rink. I'm starting in the back and going across 24 feet. I then measure down from one corner, 48 feet, and spray paint the area. Now to figure out a right triangle so the rink is square, you have to do the A square plus B square equals C square. My answer is 55 feet and 7 inches, so measure that from the other corner to the line you spray painted. Do the same thing for the other corner and your rink should be squared. Measure the sides to confirm or do like me, measure everything 20 times until you're satisfied. Step 3. Lay out your boards. Mine are already pre-cut. I ripped 5 8 sheets of plywood into 12 inch strips and in the deep ends I use 16 inches. In the next coming years I will probably put higher boards at the end as the girls are gaining more interest in hockey. You can use 3 quarter inch plywood. It will last longer so go with what you can afford. Step 4. Put your stakes in the ground and screw the boards into them. This stage can be done differently. Some people will build a 2 by 4 frame and screw the plywood onto them. They are solid and last a long time. If you're interested, message me and I will give you steps and tips on that. I personally go just go with stakes at the end of the boards and one in the middle. I use a line to keep it straight and if, if you have concern about deeper areas with the weight of the water due to, to a ton of rain, add a couple stakes on an angle for extra support. I've used the same boards for six years now and I haven't had to throw in any out yet. Stakes on the other hand, if you do not do this setup in the fall time, you will ruin your stakes pounding them into the frozen ground. Step five. Buy a white tarp. There are many different kinds you can purchase. In years past, I would get one of the special ones online from a backyard rink store. They work well, but they will not last two years. I tried it, and yet all it gave me was headaches and a lot of lost water in the warm days. This year, I went with a polyethylene tarp with a 10 by 10 weave from a hardware store. The finish size is 30 by 60. You do not get as many size choices from these stores. Just make sure that it is a minimum two feet wider per side than your board area. So a minimum tarp size that I needed is 28 by 52 for a 24 by 48 foot rink. If you have a lot extra, just cut it or roll it up and tuck it against the boards. Fast forward a month later because all that other stuff should have been done in fall. Step six, it is getting cold. The leaves are mostly done falling and starting tonight I see three days of freezing water temperatures. So I'm going around getting all the leaves and branches out of the rink so none of it punctures the tarp. I go the extra step of cutting grass so I don't miss any twigs, but if your grass is really long, be careful not to clump up and get inside your tarp area. Step six, lay out the tarp. You will need an extra hand. Thank you, Giselle, for helping. Work together, stretching it out. Make sure it overhangs over the boards. As you're going around, you should add some clamps to the top as your tarp will blow in the wind constantly. Whatever you use, do not make it permanent yet. I will explain why in the next step. I take my shoes off when entering on the tarp. If you rip it and can't find the hole, you're in for a lot more work this year. Either way, get in there and flatten out the wrinkles in the middle first. Then head to the sides together and push the tarp right into the corners of the boards. This will also help with the wrinkles. Step 7. Fill your tarp with water. If you're on a well, I suggest getting it delivered and it will take them no time at all to fill your rink. I live in the city, so yes, I filled it using just one garden hose. I have the hose filling from the highest point. It is fun watching it trickle down and slowly making its way to fill the whole surface. But be ready. This process took 18 hours. Used all my batteries up and my cameras were starting to freeze. Just to cover the whole surface by at least one inch. As it is filling up, make sure there are no kinks in the hose first. As this is going on, I go around and make sure there are no leaks. Have some underwater tape ready just in case. This is also where you will see the tarp stretching to the corners. You do not want it to continually stretch or it may leak. So I go around, take clamps off in those areas, pull it to flatten out the areas, and then allow the water to push the tarp into place and then reapply the clamps. Keep doing this as the water level grows. While I'm waiting and avoiding my inside chores, side note, thank you Carrie for taking care of them and feeding me, I put up some lights around the rink and also added some extra Christmas lights I had and wanted to use. But don't worry festive people, trust me, we put up lots of Christmas lights in the front yard. I will put the link of our Christmas lights short show in the description so you can see it after you're done watching this video. Now I was foolish and started filling this up at 1pm. That means I had to keep waking up every hour or so to check on it as I didn't want it to overflow or collapse because I fell asleep on the job. When I turned it off, it looks like a perfectly clear pool, and now on to the hardest step of all. Hey, 
Have you liked this video yet? If you watch this long, you certainly need to. Best part about it, it will be saved in your liked videos so you won't have to search for me next year. Step eight, the hardest step. Keep the kids off the ice and waiting till it's ready. When is it ready? Well, Giselle and Genevieve are nine and seven. They don't dig in much, so when it froze about a solid inch, they were able to skate a bit, but if I stepped onto the ice, it would have cracked through. It is also relative to how much water you have in the deep end. You're not gonna have a skating party and have everyone slosh out water around. You will end up with a fairly large pressure crack through the middle. You do not want anybody to go through the ice and tear that tarp. How are you holding up so far? Do you have any questions? Just ask them below. I will be sure to answer them and then I will add a Q&A in the description to help others out because it is likely someone else has the same question. I did not go too deep into the, the upkeep of the rank, but I can do a separate video pertaining to that if you're looking for it. And when it is complete, I will put it in the top right corner. And here for now, our shorts Christmas display will be in the bottom right corner. Thanks for watching.